Coming up on today's episode of Airport Unmanned. Pit Patrol active with military OPV and UAV programs. NASA Aircraft assists in FAA approved drone medical supply delivery research. And Paro Zero's drone safety system saves costly payload and drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The aviation and aerospace is constantly abuzz with details about the latest generation of optionally piloted and remotely piloted unmanned air vehicles. It might surprise you that a light sport aircraft manufacturer producing small aircraft for the civil and recreational markets has entered the UAV market as well. Pipistrel aircraft manufactures surveillance aircraft and either manned, optionally piloted, and completely unmanned platforms. The airframes offer versatile capabilities and can carry a wide variety of payloads necessary to taking on state-of-the-art assignments, including LIDAR and I-STAR missions. These aircraft offer mission-critical capabilities that include as much as 33-hour flight endurance and ranges of more than 3,000 nautical miles. Some variants are also capable of operations at altitudes of 30,000 feet. Custom airframes are designed from the start to carry internal payloads of nearly 1,000 pounds. And while many are manufactured in military livery, others can be configured to look like civil aircraft. With retractable payloads built right into the airframe, thereby reducing unwanted attention during transit or at remote airfields. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Aurora Flight Sciences, a pioneer in unmanned aircraft and autonomous flight, will invest more than $13.75 billion to expand its operation in the city of Manassas. The company, which was acquired by the Boeing Company in 2017 and is headquartered in Manassas, plans to build a robotics and integration facility that will consist of a manufacturing unit, a research and development lab, a hangar and office space. The project will create 135 new jobs. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's worldwide campus, in conjunction with Commercial UAV Expo 2018, will offer a pre-event workshop, Small UAS Advanced Inspection Operation Course, at the conference on Monday, October 1st at the Westgate in Las Vegas, Nevada. This in-depth workshop will extend knowledge from beyond Part 107 qualifications to operational knowledge, skills, and abilities regarding small unmanned aerial systems utilization for inspection and construction, infrastructure, utilities, surveying, and mapping. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated has been selected to provide UAS to the Royal Netherlands Air Force. This decision follows consideration by the Ministry of Defense for the Netherlands. GAASI will deliver its Predator B MQ-9 Reaper Medium Altitude Long Endurance UAS to the Dutch military. The existing MQ-9 fleet has logged over 2 million operational flight hours with a USAF, UK RAF, Italian French Air Forces, NASA, and the US DHS. The Nevada Institute of Autonomous Systems has launched the Nevada Drone Center of Excellence for Public Safety. The mission is to save lives and reduce air hazards from drone incursions by empowering a shared safety vision, with the FAA's integration of drones into the commercial air traffic system. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Some underserved Virginia patients were among the first to be officially helped by a UAS during recent research flights to a medical clinic in Wise County. In accordance with research flight plans authorized by the FAA, a full-size aircraft operated by NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton and a hexacopter drone operated by Flirty Incorporated, a drone startup company, delivered pharmaceuticals and other medical supplies to an outdoor free clinic. The annual clinic, which is held at the Wise County Fairgrounds, is run by Remote Aerial Medical and the Health Wagon, 
a local healthcare outreach organization. It typically serves more than 1,500 patients. The Mid-Atlantic Aviation Partnership at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg oversaw the FAA-approved test flights as a part of an event called Let's Fly Wisely. During the test, a NASA Langley fixed-wing aircraft picked up 10 pounds of pharmaceuticals and supplies from an airport in Tazewell County in southwest Virginia. The plane, which always has a safety pilot on board, delivered the medicine to the Lonesome Pine Airport in Wise County. The supplies went to a flirty crew, which separated them into 24 smaller packages, so they can be delivered by small unmanned drone to the free clinic during a number of flights over two hours. A drone safety system developed by Parazero Israel LTD has successfully saved hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of payload mounted on a commercial drone that almost crashed a couple of weeks ago. The mission was executed by a commercial drone operator in the Homeland Security domain. Parazero's drone safety system identified a critical failure in the flight and autonomously deployed a ballistic parachute during the customer's operations. While the drone was in the air, Parazero sensors continuously monitored the flight path, looking out for abnormalities. The safety system identified a critical failure and triggered the flight termination system, shutting down the powers to the rotors. In addition, the Pattinson parachute launcher opened the chute to full canopy in a fraction of a second, bringing the drone and expensive payload safely to the ground and minimizing the impact energy. Our drone safety system proved yet again that it can save the drone and the payload in real-life situations," said Parazero CEO Eden Atias. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.